um, how to take a C scale and turn it into something a lot more interesting than just going uh, Okay, separating each note, not having any strings ringing. Had a few emails and questions about uh, using open strings in these sort of country-esque kind of scales. And uh, that's what we're gonna look at in uh, both lessons this month. Uh, this one is a little bit more intermediate to advanced kind of one here with a fast uh, run using open strings. work fine over that or even the C major seven okay um, sort of a dual purpose these uh, ringing major and minor thirds and major and minor sevenths are something you'll come across a lot in uh, country music country with the major and minor seventh more than the blues um, with the blues you're probably not going to hear that major seventh as much except for sort of a passing tone whereas in the country stuff a lot of times you'll have that ringing um, regardless it gives it that really strong uh, tension that it's a matter of taste whether you like that or not but we're going to do it so here we go Let's start off by taking, uh, learning the C scale that goes with this, that uses all the open strings. The, uh, we're going to get the high E, the B, the G, and the D strings all ringing in here, okay? So let's start off in this position, which is kind of a, I don't know, I think of it sort of a, as a useless scale position here. I mean, completely useless, but um, I just don't like this position shift um, going here like this. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It's just a weird jump strain on the fingers, etc. Um, what we're going to start off by doing right away is let's take this B note that we would play here that, that's really a pain, making us having to jump positions and come back in, and just use the open B string instead of that note, okay? So I want you to work through this and replace um, one note at a time with an open string, and that will start to um, make this something that's easier to work on step by step for those of you who are used to fretting notes because this open string thing, it really ties up the brain. You start going up to a higher string for a lower note and you'll see what I mean. Here we go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay, and the B note now, the open string notes I'm picking, uh, plucking with my finger. In this case, I'm using my middle finger. You can use your ring finger. worked in so that so it becomes sort of second nature now that's that's really nice it can give you that ring in there right? which gives a little bit more color it starts to sound more like a, a harp or a piano as you get more open strings in here um, let's move uh, add now the open D string okay C note here now pluck the open D string with your finger and then Move to E and F, okay? And then G, A, B, C, okay? Do that. Okay, now you've worked in two open strings. Okay, practice that a few times. Then come back and add another open string. The next one, we've got a G note here. Let's substitute in the open G string. So we're starting to do less and less with our fretting fingers and getting these open strings to do the work for us. Okay, and we're starting to get a lot more notes ringing out. Okay, if you really want to work hard at this, you can get um, almost all the notes ringing at once. C, D, E, F, G, A. Oh, uh, sorry, we got to switch and get the A here. All right, like this. C, D, E. Listen to all those notes ringing now. Okay, we start to get a, a big collection of notes ringing over on top of one another, which is uh, much more like you could get out of a piano or out of a harp or something like that. And so it's kind of a new color that you can use on the guitar. It's, it's a pretty cool thing to add to your repertoire. So um, the whole scale now, really easy to do um, with just a couple of fingers. C, D, E. And I'm hammering here, it gives it a more legato sound even. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, and over the course of that, we're getting these three strings here to ring, okay? The high E string, you can continue up the scale.
Okay, by going C, D, E, like that. That's very cool, and we're gonna do a, a lick. I'm gonna do another lesson that uses this. All right, coming down using uh, more open strings. Let's stick to this one here. We're just going up this scale. So uh, we got this scale complete now. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All right, practice that a bunch of times to get that to kind of feel like second nature to you, okay? Then, in order to make this uh, something you can really make some licks out of, we need to sort of round out the number of notes. Just going C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C leaves you in a weird spot. You get seven notes out of it, which is an uneven number and doesn't kind of turn the corners very nicely. So let's get it so that we're gonna add in two more notes so we can land after eight notes for the start of the next eight, we'll land on a C again. What we're gonna do is take some passing notes here. C, D. Okay, those we got already. Now, E flat to E. Okay, that's the typical country and blues lick move. All right, super simple lick. Okay, C, D, E flat, E. All right, that sounds good too, up, right up to the G. C, D, oh, C, D, E flat, E, G. Then we're gonna go A to B flat. Okay, so the whole collection of notes to do them fretted, it'll make it seem real easy to you. C, D, E flat, E, G, A, B flat, B, C. Okay, so listen to all those. Real simple kind of uh, old sort of swing lick almost. Okay, and they can continue that up endlessly through the octaves. Um, fretboard like that it just rolls uh, one bar into the next because you have eight notes and then the uh, root note again okay so that's the the key to using those passing tones is to make them line up so that you get a more fluid sound all right and working in the open strings once you know all your notes okay you can do it step by step and work this lick up to the point where you got it okay and that's those half steps Clashing with one another is what gives that this sort of country, uh, countryish sound once you get that worked up to speed. Okay, and uh, coming up here. Bending up from an E flat to an E, also typical blues or country kind of lick thing. All right, now we're gonna come down four notes at a time and I'll show you the end of this lick. Um, so it goes. Okay, says so that real falling down the stairs and landing on your feet kind of sound with all those chromatics in there. E, E flat down to D, down to C. Okay, so that's our first four notes. Again, high E string, pluck with your finger. Okay, and that one I'm doing really legato. And it's no crime if you get that high B, uh, the B string already ringing a little bit because you're gonna pluck it right away. Okay. Next four notes, B, B flat, A, G. Okay, this is uh, gonna be a little tricky. The picking is changing each time. You have one plucked note, then three fretted notes. A plucked note, two fretted notes, and another plucked note. I'm gonna put tab below this um, on the website. If you're watching this on YouTube, just go to my website and I'll tab this out because this will drive you nuts if you don't uh, get to see the tab um, and make sure you know where those open strings are. Okay, so with the last four notes now. Um, F, D, E flat, E, B, uh, excuse me, C. <laughs> Now this is one of the most counterintuitive things I find about these kind of licks. This note up here, fretted, and then you get a lower note by playing the next higher string. This is the thing that really kind of ties my mind in knots when working on these things. Okay, classic lick. All right, and then before I ended it like, uh, So 
this will work great over a C7 too. Pretty cool, like cadence or end kind of lick. All right, so we're gonna do uh, one more section and another uh, one more lick um, using some ringing open strings in another section. But I'll close this one up for now. Um, that gives you an idea of the C scale and getting those open strings ringing. Consider uh, coming up, some, learning your other scales based around that. Okay, um, these open strings are gonna work over a G major chord, because you got it over G major, E's the, the sixth or the thirteenth, the B's the third, G's your root, D's the fifth. Okay, so that's gonna work, you can work out scales there. Um, even over A major, right? Um, the dominant seventh's gonna work great, because you'll have that, the G will be your uh, dominant seventh, okay? Uh, no, D chord, the open strings are gonna work fine too. E's your second, B's your sixth. Okay, G's the fourth, uh, you'll probably just wind up passing through it. D's your root. So you've got a lot of keys you can uh, uh, work on these, use, uh, work these open strings into uh, some licks, okay? Let me just do that lick from today one more time. I'll switch pickups for fun. Thanks for watching.